going swimming. Ugh. Um, me crying through my pores that it's so hot and that I am so sweaty, but it's okay. Hi guys, so today I am at Sintosa. Yes, the very, very well-known Sintosa here in Singapore. And I'm actually here for a Pokemon Go Safari event, which is very exciting. Um, yes, because it's the first time in Singapore that we have this event. And it is very, very busy, very crowded. It's so awesome to see all the people coming out here to play Pokemon. Um, but the reason my, I'm making this video today is not because I want to show you how I play Pokemon. <laughs> um, I actually thought you know I can actually talk about is it worth coming to Singapore when you're a tourist or even when you live here is it worth coming here spending your money and your time on this small little island on the south of Singapore now the one thing that a lot of people don't know is that actually uh, Sentosa has a rich history and it dates back many 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 years and one of the things that stood out for me the most is that during the World War II times and Japanese government's governance or whatever <laughs> It actually served as a prisoner of war camp and people were detained here and it also served as a massive killing field for some of the giant Chinese and um, people between the eight years of 18 and 50 years old which actually um, I never knew that because what you see in the media and what when people come to Sentosa what they see is like this glamorous little place that is so well thought out um, perfectly built everything is like in its place and it seems very fake as some people would say it Sentosa actually only got the name Sentosa in the 19 in 1970 um, and it means tranquility in Malay so I think it's actually so beautiful Sentosa tranquility you come here to relax you come here to spend the day you come here to just um, have a little bit of quietness uh, away from all the hustle and bustle in Singapore city center. The way I'm getting around Sentosa today is I walked, um, I did not take the train over because you can actually just walk over from a harbor front, Vivo City, and then once you are in Sentosa, you can actually take the train and you don't have to pay when you are on the island. It's just getting onto the island that you will pay $4 to take the train so it's really worth um, just walking over looking at the scenery and then taking the train from the moment that you reach the island so when you come to Sentosa there's quite a few things that you can do you can go for adventure and zipline you can go to um, Resorts World Sentosa which is where Universal Studios are and you can visit Universal Studios for the day I've had a season pass and I have really utilized it and I went to Universal Studios quite often um, just to get my money's worth <laughs> because I do like to go in the rides I, I enjoy the extreme feeling of the exhilarating feeling that you get when you go on the rides I'm like a kid at heart and then you can also yeah you know, so you can also come to the beach, lie on the beach, drink some cocktails, go for a hike. There's also uh, residential areas where you can check out some um, property and you can look at the housing here, which is very, very expensive. It's some of the most expensive property that you will find in Singapore. Um, yeah, and then you can just take a day's walk and see what the island has to offer. All right, so I'm going to take you around today. I'm going to be walking by foot and I'm going to be show you, showing you around the island a little bit and see you know the places you can go and where you um, what, what's nice to see all right so you might see a lot of Pokemon people <laughs> in uh, the videos um, it does not usually look like that <laughs> so uh, when you do come on a Monday like I am here now uh, it will be much quieter and there will not be as many people around but on weekends on Saturday and Sundays there are quite a few events that I know that are being held um, there's music festivals that they like to have on the beach and you know so it's a very different vibe depending on which day you come here as well but make sure you have some money in your pocket things do tend to be more expensive here uh, on the island and yeah you can pack a little basket buy your snacks um, when you leave the hotel or when you leave home pack a few snacks in your bag and make sure that you stay hydrated when you do decide to walk outside here on the island so I think that's that so let's go and have a walk around the island Thank you. 
Alright guys, so yeah, that has been my day here in Sintosa. It was awesome. I feel absolutely tired now <laughs> from all the walking and the rain and the sun shining on me. So I'm like red and sweaty and gross. I just want to take a shower. But you know, it's an experience and I think it's something that all of us have to come and do when we're here. And you know, just come and see what the, the island has to offer. And if you're here as a tourist, you know, just get yourself a brochure when you come to the island and see what packages you can get. Oh. For discount and um, usually when you buy two things or more than three more than two one or two or three um, activities that you want to do you usually get a uh, more discount and yeah so then you can also um, see I've linked some apps and some websites where you can find some special deals um, online in regards to buying tickets for these activities where they usually have discounted prices for you so yeah it's one thing that I must mention that was absolutely fantastic is there's a lot of covered walking so even though the Sun is out shining on you and it's raining pouring down with uh, rain um, you're covered most of the island you can uh, walk under yeah you're covered <laughs> so it's fantastic um, lots of places to eat at lots of things to do if you have children bring them here they will be very busy the whole day and you will go home with tired children and you'll be able to enjoy a glass of wine at the end of the day but yeah I'm very sweaty and I'm very red and I'm very tired but come to Singapore <laughs> Come to Sentosa, yes, even though I look like this, you know, you have to just try it and um, experience it. So, um, I'm gonna just catch the last few Pokemon and then I'm gonna head home. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe if you enjoy my work and I'm trying to get my editing skills up there and be better with every single video. So yeah, subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section about your thoughts of Singapore and that would be fantastic. Until next time, bye. And let's go catch some Pokemon while we look at the view. Two in one. Yes, yes. Pikachu!